I wanted to talk a little bit about the definition of a correlation. A correlation is a relationship between two quantitative variables. That's the definition you'll usually hear for a correlation. And it's also a relationship in which um, a person's value on one variable is at least roughly predictable based on their person's value on the other variable. And <clears throat> I'll talk about what I mean by that. Let's say that a person has told me how many miles they drive per week, but they haven't told me how much money they spend on gas per week. Since the person has told me how many miles they drive per week, I can make at least a rough prediction about how much money they're spending on gas per week. Because if the person tells me they're driving five miles per week, I'll probably think, okay, well, that person probably isn't spending very much money on gas. If the person tells me that they're driving 100 miles per week, or 200 miles per week, I'll think, okay, well, that person is probably spending more money on gas. So, if the person tells me how much driving they're doing per week, um, I won't be able to predict exactly how much money they're spending on gas, but I'll, um, I'll be able to make at least a rough prediction of how much money they're spending on gas per week. The reason why I can make that rough prediction is because there's a correlation between number of miles driven per week and amount of money spent on gas per week. If a person tells me how many credit card payments they've missed this year, but that person hasn't told me his or her credit score, I can use the number of missed payments that they've had this year to make at least a rough prediction of what their credit score is. Um, for example, if a person tells me that they've missed zero payments this year, I'll think, okay, their credit score is probably pretty good. Their, pro their credit score is probably up at the high end up here. And if a person tells me that they've missed um, a large number of payments, um, for example, if a person tells me that they've missed seven or eight payments, I'll think, okay, well, that person's credit score is probably lower. It's probably not as good of a credit score. So, since there's a correlation between number of missed credit card payments and credit score, you can use the number of credit card payments that a person has missed to make at least a rough prediction of what their credit score is. So, um, if two variables are correlated, either with a positive correlation or a negative correlation, then um, a person's score on one variable is at least roughly predictable based on the person score on the other variable. But if two things are not correlated with each other, then it's not possible to predict a person's score on one variable based on their score on the other variable. Um, I've never heard of a correlation between shoe size and IQ, um, which means that um, if a person tells me that, that their shoe size is 10, um, and they don't tell me what their IQ is, I won't be able to use their shoe size to predict their IQ because I don't know whether um, a person who has a shoe size of 10 should have a low IQ or a high IQ. Um, if a person tells me that their shoe size is 13, um, that also won't be useful for predicting their IQ. So if... Um, if you know that two things are correlated with each other, then it's possible to make these predictions. But if um, if there's no reason to expect a correlation between two things, um, then it's not possible to make those predictions.
or if it's not clear that there's a correlation between two things, then, or if a correlation has never been demonstrated between two things, then it's not possible to make those predictions.